In this session, we are going to look at pricing. Now, once we have calculated the total cost of a particular job or a particular product, there are two different methods we can use to calculate the selling price. The first, we've seen already. So after we've calculated the total cost of a job, we could apply a markup on total cost to calculate the selling price. When we apply a markup to calculate selling price, then that means the profit is expressed as a percentage of cost. And this is quite straightforward. The other approach we can take is to apply a margin. Now, if we apply a margin, it means our profit is expressed as a percentage of price. So, the only difference between a markup and a margin is the way we deal with the percentages. Before we go through a full exercise, we're going to see a straightforward example to illustrate the way the percentages work depending on which method we are using. If you understand how the percentages work, you'll have no problem with questions on this topic. So, let's have a look then at an example where we can apply or calculating our, calculate our selling price, first of all, based on a markup of 30% on total cost. And the second method we're going to apply is a margin of 30% on total cost. I'll give you the total cost figure to get us started. So we're going to just take it that the total cost is £12. Oop, excuse me. So the total cost is £12. All we're going to do is see what the selling price will be and depending on whether we use our markup of 30% or a margin of 30%. Now, the selling price of our product will be made up then of total cost plus the bit we add on, and the sum of the two gives us the selling price. Okay, so let's start with our markup of 30% on total cost. If we are using a markup, then we take our total cost or our base figure to be the 100% figure. The bit we add on is our markup, and this is going to be 30% of total cost. If we just do that calculation then, 30% of 12 gives us 3.6, which means our selling price is 15.6. So what percentage of total cost is our selling price? Well, if our selling price is just the sum of our total cost, plus the bit we've added on, then our selling price is 130% of total cost. And that's how our percentages work when we are applying a markup. Now let's look at a margin and see how the percentages are different in this case. When we are applying a margin, then the profit, the bit we're adding on, is expressed as a percentage of the selling price. Notice in our markup, the bit we add on 
was 30% of total cost. When we apply a margin of 30%, then that means the bit we add on is 30% of the selling price. Which means our starting point for our percentages is to take our selling price to be the 100% figure. The bit we add on is 30% of the selling price, which means what percentage of our selling price is the total cost? Well, if total cost plus the bit we add on is equal to the selling price, and we know that the bit we're adding on is 30% of selling price, then our total cost must be the remaining 70%. So our total cost then will be 70% of the selling price. Once you've gotten the percentages right, we can use the information we have to calculate how much we're going to add on and what our selling price will be. So if we take the information we have in relation to total cost, we know the total cost is £12, and we know that this is 70% of what our selling price is going to be. So we'll just do our calculation. So 70% of our selling price is equal to £12. So our selling price then is equal to £12 divided by 70% and multiply by 100%. When you work that through, you should get rounded £17.14. So we put that into our table. We know the selling price now, our 100% figure, is £17.14. If our total cost is £12 and our selling price is £17.14, then the bit we're adding on is just the difference, £5.14. Which, if you did a quick check, you would see that £5.14 is 30% of the selling price we've calculated. And that's how we work the percentages when we're applying markups or margins. Let's have a look at an exercise. So we're told a company has the following cost card. And we're given the prime cost information, production overhead information, and non-production costs. <clears throat> so our first requirement then is using a markup on total variable cost of 80%, what is the price? And once we've worked at that out, we'll calculate what the profit would be per unit. So, there's two things we need to look out for when we're calculating the price of a product. The first is, are we using a markup or a margin? And what is the percentage? In this case, we're applying a markup of 80%. The second thing we have to look at is what is the basis we are going to use to calculate the markup. Commonly, this will be total cost, but you may be told to use some other piece of the cost information. In this case, we have been told to apply our markup to the total variable cost per unit. So we'll follow that instruction. So working it through then, first we need to calculate the total variable cost per unit. Remember our total variable cost is going to be our prime cost of 22 
plus our variable production overhead, plus the variable non-production cost. So we have 22 plus 5 plus 6. So our total variable cost is 33. So we're going to use this to apply our markup. So doing our table with our percentages then, we're applying a markup of 80% on variable cost. So we have the variable cost of £33. We're going to add on a certain amount to calculate the selling price. <clears throat> we know that as it is a markup, our variable cost then is the 100% figure. Our add on is going to be 80% of our variable cost, which means our selling price is 180% of variable cost. So, working it out then, our variable cost is £33, 80% of 33 gives us £26.40. Adding the two together gives us a selling price of £59.40. So, we've got our selling price using a markup applied to variable cost. Look at our two questions again. So we know what the price will be using this method, £59.40. Our second question then is what would the resulting profit per unit be? Now just be careful, our profit per unit is going to be the selling price minus the total cost of producing each unit. So, selling price minus total cost. We have our selling price of 59.40. What is the total cost per unit? If we have a look back at our question information, our total cost per unit is given to us at the bottom as 40 pounds. So, our profit per unit then, 59.40 minus 40 pounds gives us £19.40. And that's the first bit complete. The second thing we're asked to do then is calculate using a margin of 80% on total production cost, what is the price? So again, we look for our two things. Are we using a markup or a margin? We're using a margin of 80%. Our next bit of information is what is going to be the basis of calculating our selling price. And we're told we're going to apply it in relation to our total production cost. So, first of all, if we look at the question, what is the total production cost per unit? This calculation has already been done for us. The total production cost per unit is £31. So this time we're applying our margin. Total production cost is £31. If we set up our table again and make sure we're clear on what the percentages are, this time we're applying a margin of 80% based on our total production cost. We've worked out our production cost of 31. We need to figure out then how much are we adding on in order to calculate the selling price. So, if we're applying a margin then, remember, 
for applying a margin of 80%, then this means the bit we add on is going to be 80% of the selling price. When we have a margin, our selling price is always the 100% figure. If the bit we add on is going to be 80% of the selling price, that means the total production cost must be the other 20% of the selling price. Once we've gotten our percentages in, the calculations should be straightforward. So just bringing it down a bit, we know that 20% of the selling price is equal to our total production cost of £31, which means the selling price is equal to £31 divided by 20% multiplied by 100%. And that should give us 155. So we have our selling price then of 155. If we need to, we can just calculate the bit we're adding on. Our production cost is 31 and our selling price is 155. Then the bit we're adding on is just the difference between the two, or £124 which works out as 80% of our selling price. So we'll go back to our question again. We have been asked to do one last little calculation. So we've used our margin to calculate a different selling price, a much higher selling price of £155. Finally then, we have to work out what will the profit be based on this new selling price. Our profit will still be selling price minus total cost per unit. So 155 minus our total cost, which has not changed, of £40. So if we apply our margin then, we get a profit per unit of £115.